Hi folks, so in this video we're going to start some basic level design. As you can see I've applied some collision to some of the tiles that I'm going to actually use within this and I've just neatened it up a bit around the actual coastline here. So to build a actual level we're going to first of all create a new folder just like so and call this level. Then what we're going to do is find a way of storing our lovely paper 2D there you go, tile map in like so. So if you press tile map we'll then call this level 1 there we go and all of a sudden we have the actual area which we can build our level on. Now if you look down the side here you, if you are familiar with Photoshop you'll find quite a few things which might be interesting for you such as the layer button which you can hide and show different layers you can add new layers above the object like that and you can then set them down like so and you can of course delete them out and duplicate them if required you also have in this lovely setup something useful which is the actual width so at the moment this is a 4x4 tile square if we just change this to 8x8 there you go we have a nice bigger playing area for the characters now our tile width of course is the width of our tiles so of course earlier we set it to 32 by 32 so that will be absolutely fine and all the other information at this moment in time don't over really need to worry about them. so what we're going to do is just rename this layer one and call this base layer just like so and we're, what we're going to do is just paint on the basic tiles that we want now we have the lovely world tile set here so if i just go to tile sheet what i can do is drag this in and drop this in just like so. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pick some grass and just draw a nice bit of grass around the world. You may have areas which don't look the way you want them to. So if we move the camera hopefully it will fix that. Ooh, maybe they don't want that. Maybe just have it plain green for now and maybe we'll add some water just down the bottom like so now what we might choose to do is think about actually what sort of collision are we going to do within our game so the first layer we might just call this like deco layer and on here we might just add some standard you know rubble grass you know nothing to worry so nothing too much which is going to take you know too much memory up just some generic little terrain here and there and then we might want to think about creating and adding a little bit of a shoreline down here so what we might want to do is add that to the base layer or we could change that onto the deco layer itself so if we just add a little bit like this let's just mix it up with the other terrain so it looks a bit more interesting like so and then what we might want to do is choose to blend this in on our deco layer to our actual grass so there we go maybe drop that in a few times one of those maybe one there and then a couple of these and then press, let's press save just here and all of a sudden folks we have a lovely level map like this now if we go into the actual game world itself you'll notice it appears here and all the actual layers are sticking out which is actually a good thing because in the future what we can think about is how we're using collision and specific collision for perhaps trees so our player character can walk behind them and do some interesting things so what we're going to do is just add a little bit of a wall as well maybe add another layer and just call this collision layer and then just add in at the very top a wall with some collision on so if we just quickly check the tile set there you go let's add collision to these two if I then draw the wall across here we've now got a nice piece of collidable terrain so when we actually go to play our game notice on a slightly higher level and that will then be where we're colliding against and that is how we build a basic level and put it into the 2d engine 